Howdy! This is Rosie Arsley, a technical writer in the documentation team for cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I will show you the file and directory restoration interface, introduced in cPanel and WHM version 72. This interface allows WHM and cPanel users to restore files and directories from their locally stored backups. This type of restoration is much faster and easier than restoring an entire backup, as it allows you to selectively restore files and directories. We introduced the file restoration interface in version 68, but we added the directory restoration ability in version 72. With its enhanced features, we renamed the interface File and Directory Restoration. This interface works with metadata. Your backup configuration must have the right settings to generate metadata every time your system runs a backup. For more information on the setting configuration that allows metadata creation, read the How to Manage Metadata Settings document in cPanel's documentation. I included the link in the description below so that you can go check it out. Now, I'm going to show you the File and Directory Restoration interface in WHM. Once you log into WHM, you will find the File and Directory Restoration interface under the Backup section in the left menu, or you can search for it in the search bar. Once the interface loads, you can select the account that contains the files or directories you'd like to restore. Then, click the Get Backups button, located below the account list, to retrieve the backups available for that account. You have the option to return to the account list if you selected a different account than the one you wanted. You have the option to restore the entire home directory or individual files and directories within it. Right now, let's restore one file within the public underscore HTML directory. Click the directory's name. This action shows the directory's contents. Then, click on the file's name. The interface will now show all of the available backups for that particular file. Currently, the system has two backups for this file, so I'll restore the latest version. The system will ask whether you want to restore that file. Since we are definitely sure, select the checkbox to overwrite the file and click Restore. The system provides a confirmation message. You can use the same process to restore a directory. First, select the directory that you want to restore. In this case, we want to restore all of the contents in the public underscore HTML directory. Check the breadcrumbs to make sure you're in the right place. Then. Click Restore this directory. Once you see the list of available backups for that directory, click Restore this version, confirm the overwrite, and click Restore. You'll see a confirmation message once the system successfully restores the directory. The process is the same for cPanel users, who can restore files and directories for their own account. Go to the cPanel interface, and using the same process, click on the file or directory name that you wish to restore. Restore the version you'd prefer from the list, select the checkbox to overwrite, and click Restore. And you're done! For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. Thanks for watching!